Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. It has been so long since I've done a thrifting video. I feel like I kind of neglected this whole channel to be honest. And especially these videos that I used to do them all the time. In 2022, they're making a comeback. So this is actually from a few weeks ago, back in 2021. I went to the charity shops. I found some good pieces and I'm actually gonna do a haul of the pieces I got on this trip and pieces I got on two previous trips because I'm aware I showed them on TikTok, but I never showed them to you guys over here. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm so excited to be doing these videos again. I actually went off yesterday and filmed another one, so subscribe. Stick around if you want to see that one as well. Hope you enjoy. So whenever I go to the charity shops, I always see leather jackets. This one's quite cool, in really good condition, and I don't think it was too expensive. I've also kind of been wanting to get into the Thai kind of vibe. I really liked this one, kind of sad I didn't get it. This jumper was giving me like kind of grannyest vibes, and it was only £1.50, then I headed to Cancer Research. I've been after a waistcoat like this to wear as a top for ages, and I saw this one for £2. It's originally Warehouse, and I really like the cut of it at the bottom. I didn't find much else in that charity shop, so I moved on to the next one, and I saw this really nice beige trench coat. I've been after one for a while and then this coat if the fur trim had gone all the way down to the bottom and then round the bottom as well and it didn't have the hood it would have been coming straight home with me but unfortunately it didn't this panelled midi skirt was quite cool with the black pockets on the back i just wasn't really keen on the faded bits i was really into these pinstripe trousers and i just really appreciate like little details like that little bit on the front there and then it headed into the changing room to try on some bits i found so i tried on the trench coat that i showed earlier and unfortunately it was just too big which i'm really sad about because it's literally the perfect trench coat but when i pull it over like this it's just too much fabric and especially when i tied it up with the belt there was just too much it just looked quite silly so i've been into that whole folding your waistband over on your trousers inspired by dickie's trousers so had a look in the men's section did find these navy ones but they were still too big even with the waist folded over and they were too big in the crotch area they would have been perfect apart from that but yeah they just didn't fit so i did end up leaving these ones behind i kind of love the embellishment on these jeans above the pockets although i'm not entirely sure what it was but i love the rolled up bottom as well this pink shirt was giving it all i love a fitted shirt at the moment and then i saw this black fur gilet originally old primark and this scarf was new with tags it's from originally asda three pounds and it's so cute i love the color as well i loved this crochet blanket the pattern the colors they work so well together i just loved it this trench coat was really cool although it didn't have a belt and i need a belt on my trench coats but i really liked the metal buckle detail on the sleeve these heels are really cool love the buckle i'm obsessed this scarf was cute but i couldn't justify three pounds on it especially because of the quality i love the tones of this striped shirt love the orange this was kind of cool although i'm not sure how i feel about a denim jacket not having a collar i continued my hunt for some trousers to roll over but these ones wouldn't even go up past my thighs so loved this bag and if i didn't already have my carhartt one i probably would have got it but it's so similar to my carhartt one like it even has a little pocket on the front but really cute something about these linen trousers was talking to me i think it might have been the two pockets on the front i'm all here for the knitwear this year i've never been a massive knitwearer until this year it's slowly taken over my wardrobe i love this ralph Lauren knit the colors yes then a new day i went to my local charity shops i saw this really cool baby blue primark zip up and then this cool jacket not really something i'd wear but i really like the tassels again not something i would wear but i love the colors together although i'm not too sure on the pattern found the same primark knit but in white i probably would have got the blue one but it was polyester and from the men's section, I found these cargo style trousers. They fit so well and they were only £3.50 as well. And they're a really nice stone colour. And they also have these buckles on the side, which you can tighten them up by. So yeah, I got those. And then the last thing I saw was this suede duffel coat. It was £10, but it did have a few marks on it. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I picked up on this thrift trip from the videos that you just, well, charity shop trip from the clips that you just seen. Um, I only picked up three things. I did actually end up picking up that crochet blanket that I showed it was so hard to film that clip but I loved this I saw it and I was like sent a picture to my mum and I was like oh my god mum look at this because she knew that I wanted like a crochet blanket and it could not go like more perfectly with my room I love it and I had a crochet blanket on my list as well so it's so nice to just tick that off and it was six pounds I don't know if this was like someone's blanket from when they were like a kid or something like that but the colours are lovely I love the like square pattern of it I've been keeping it like draped over one corner of my bed and draped over the back of my seat. I'm not sure. I'll probably just move it around as and when. But yeah, really nice. I love it. I had on my list black trousers with big belt. Obviously, this isn't a big belt. I love the oval buckle and they fit so well. I couldn't try them on in charity shop because it was like full of stock still. So I was like, right, I'm just going to risk it. And they fit like a dream, like literally a dream. They're exactly how I wanted them to fit. And I just think like with a crop top, maybe like a long sleeve, like mesh kind of like top that shows the buckle still i think that would look really cool um or even like a whole like suit moment with like 
a crop top and like the buckle and these were five pounds and then lastly i picked up a little black waistcoat so i did show this in a clip it was two pound from cancer research i love the cut of it at the bottom just thinking of wearing it just like as like a top maybe more like a going out top because it is quite bb i'm gonna try and layer with it as well it's quite a low cut one so yeah quite bb so that's why i was thinking more of like a going out top maybe even with the black trousers i'm gonna show you what i picked up from two other trips one i went with, one i went with my mum and the other one i went by myself so i picked up sticking with the crochet theme this little vest i wore this out when i went to alice in wonderland with a white shirt my beige trousers my green and purple dunks and then black leather jacket and i loved it this was about 15 five pounds around that mark so yeah love that and then i picked up two pieces of jewelry so the first piece is actually the necklace i'm wearing and then i got them in the same charity shop one sec let me get the bracelet do you need to get some links taken out of this um, but this is what the bracelet looks like and they were three pounds each kind of expensive for jewelry but i really liked them and i rarely even though i always look at the jewelry like i rarely ever find jewelry in charity shops that i love and i hardly have any bracelets you might have already seen me wearing this i have worn this to death since i got it i'm obsessed i am a friggin cessed so it's originally oasis i have seen someone like vintage and stuff a lot more money i paid 15 pounds for this but obviously what they are going for all online like some of them are literally ridiculous prices like 100 pounds but i love the back of it as well it's got like the fur cross down the back from the same trip on the same charity shop i picked up these two bits so first thing i picked up is these like cargo style um trousers and what i liked about them what side is it on is the embroidery on the leg i literally have been looking for something like this these are from it literally just says active like i, I genuinely think these are like walking trousers the color of them is really nice as well so these were two pounds and then this was also two pounds and it's just a like zip up knit which i love um this is from Marks and Spencers and yeah just pink like little knit I've worn this quite a lot already because it's just such a good basic like I like it all the way zipped up or like just like that like with the collar collar <laughs> folded over last thing I got I think this is the last thing anyway was a pink trench coat if you follow me on Instagram you might have already seen this as well because I did do like a thrift on this with it but I didn't say that I bought it so this was actually brand new tags it's M&S and it was £12 and I thought this in spring it's gonna be a dream like especially with my i've got the pink and purple jordans it's got like the belt as well i love a good belt on a trench coat it's got the buckly bits on the arms and yeah the fluff at the back perfect this is exactly how i like my trench coats so yeah really happy with that and 12 pounds new tags so i can go wrong so yeah really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you're as happy as me that the charity shop secondhand content is back if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>